Siri, Google search, why am I not losing weight? Why would you Google that when you already wrote four pages of notes? You're right. <laughs> Well, hello there. My name is Zoe and you probably don't know me as a weight loss guru because I am not. But did you know that I am for sure a master at failing diets? Before I successfully lost 30 pounds and kept it off, my weight and body fat percentage went up and down more than the number of times that TikTok was going to get banned, then came back alive. It's alive. Uh... Yeah. I was literally on a journey of yo-yo effects. For years before finally finding the weight loss method that works. Finally. So in case you're frustrated and annoyed that you've tried everything and are not losing weight. Damn it. Let's break down some of the common reasons of why you're not losing weight no matter how hard you tried or you think you tried. So this video will be broken down into three major potential causes of why you're not losing weight with of course their respective solutions. Watch and see which one or ones relate to you and learn to tackle them like a pro. As counterintuitive as that may seem, it's actually one of the really common reasons of why people are not losing weight, including myself. Now, before you roll your eyes at me and tell me I'm dumb because Everyone knows that when calories in is less than calories out equals weight loss. That's what I also thought. If only it were that easy. Yes, it might initially work when you first begin to cut your calories. I remember during the first summer I had to cook for myself. I literally ate two chicken drumsticks and kale and maybe some crackers every single day. a perfectly calorie deficient diet where I was probably starving all less than 1200 calories per day. Was it painful? Yes. Was I hungry? Yes. Did I lose weight? Yes and no. After drastically dropping 10 pounds, my weight couldn't go any lower. Worse yet, that starvation crashed my metabolism, which soon made my weight skyrocket because I was eating less than my basal metabolic needs aka the energy expenditure by us at rust without doing anything in order to keep our bodily functions going including our organs to even function my metabolism went downhill like a shooting star and my body just began conserving energy because it thought that I was under starvation, which I really was. In this situation, the only way to lose more weight is to either starve yourself more by cutting more calories out of your diet, which will really, really damage your health. Don't do this. Or exercise even more to expend more calories, which will put further strains on your body as it's already missing the calories and nutrients to properly function. Your period will stop. Your hair will start falling out. <laughs> and your immune system will shut down. So don't go for an extreme caloric deficit by either starving yourself or extreme exercising. Especially during the time of COVID when you need that immunity. It's not a smart move and you're smarter than that. So after that summer of extreme starvation, I went back home and returned to a normal diet, meaning more than just two pieces of small chicken and kale every single day. And surprise, my weight immediately bounced back and got worse than before. The jeans that used to fit me became so loose for a short-lived moment, then immediately became literal tights that I could not breathe in. 
And that's what happens, kids, when you try losing weight by starving yourself. And to be honest, what I lost that summer was probably my muscles and bone density instead of body fat, which further killed my metabolism. <laughs> the sustainable and clever way to do this? Yes. I see you, you're the clever one, is to boost your metabolism instead of crushing it. How do you do that? Well, I'm glad you asked. Resistance training to build lean muscles that will burn more calories. Eat more good protein to build lean muscles that will burn more calories. Do some HIIT workouts that will increase your metabolic rate for the whole day that will burn more calories. Implement some caffeine into your diet and burn more calories. going to get a very angry crowd here. Didn't you just say that not eating enough is the reason that I'm not losing weight? Liar! Yeah, well let me finish. You see, weight loss is a science in itself. Where your diet is unfortunately one of the most sensitive factors that could tip you off the edge if you go overboard either way. When I began working out a lot and began doing resistance training to build lean muscles, I was literally like, oh, whatever I'm eating will probably become my muscles to help me burn fat. What a genius. So I ended up eating three or four pieces of salmon every meal. <laughs> good times. So even though I was eating healthy fats, lean protein, and hella vegetables, I forgot that healthy calories are unfortunately still calories. Even though I was indeed building lean muscles that helped boost my metabolism, my surplus of calorie intake had to go somewhere. And that somewhere is the fat tissue all over my body except for my boobs. So just because you started exercising for your weight loss, great, but that doesn't mean you should be tripling your meal size. <coughs> Portion control still matters. Try to create a small, emphasis on small, calorie deficit of 50 to 100 calories per day that won't crash your metabolism and will sustainably help you reduce your body fat without breaking down your body without tapping into your muscles for energy. And congratulations, you made it to scenario three, which is honestly a good sign that you've been successfully losing weight up to this point, but just suddenly stopped losing anything else other than your hopes. Well, don't worry, did I just high five myself? Plateauing is usually caused by how your body achieved a new homeostasis, meaning that it just got used to the amount of exercise you were doing or the amount of calories you were eating, which is not a big deal. I got you. To easily break the plateau, there are two ways. First, is to reduce your calories further. I will highly, highly not recommend this for all the reasons I just talked about earlier. And second is to build more lean muscles that will take more calories to maintain. Building lean muscles through resistance training is honestly the most sustainable way that anyone could use to lose fat. And I'm not even talking about bulking up. That's a whole different story, which by the way, is not easy to do because you need to eat hella protein, probably like five chicken breasts minimum per day and do super heavy weight lifts almost every single day to achieve that bulkiness. The muscle building I'm talking about here is to tone your body so that you will look tight AF while burning more calories with those muscles. Resistance training are awesome at helping you achieve that. 
Obviously, quarantine made it so much harder to lift any weights at the gym. And there are just not that many weights you could lift at home other than your avocados, hot Cheetos, or your almost 13 years old sister. So either buy some weights or simply a resistance band that helps you achieve the resistance without taking up too much space. And you guys already know this, I wear my resistance band religiously everywhere I go to get my legs toned. Oh, what? How did this get here? At the end of the day, the biggest secret to weight loss is to be patient. The fast results from starvation or extreme exercising are never sustainable and will lose over time to those who take proper care of themselves, take care of their diets, and most importantly, take care of their metabolism. Like, you didn't gain all that weight overnight, so don't expect to lose it overnight. Be realistic and don't stress over it. Okay, stressing is bad for you. It releases cortisol, which makes you build fat. So don't do it. Boost your metabolism one step at a time. And before you know it, you've shredded not just weight, but also body fat and bad habits. Bye, Felicia. So I hope today's video is helpful for anyone on the diet or struggling to diet. I've been there and I totally understand the frustration. Just remember that our bodies are all so so different. So never compare your progress or yet your beginning to someone else's results. Focus on yourself and your health. And you will get where you want to be in a healthy and sustainable way. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more glow up tips and tricks. Stay healthy and see you next week. Bye. This is the end.